Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to dry your peppers in the oven. These are our Facing Heaven peppers. They're Szechuan type peppers. They're perfect for red pepper flakes. And we're going to dry the orange cayenne peppers too. You want the Facing Heaven peppers to turn red. You can even leave them on sort of past their prime if you were going to use them before drying. As they stay on longer, they, I think they get a little bit more sweet. They get sweeter and they actually start to dry out a little bit so they'll dry quicker in your oven. We're going to use the oven at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll show you that whole process. When you take these off, I like leaving the stems on there and I think that kind of helps seal in the essential oils, keeps the flavor in the pepper plant. You want to do this slow in the oven at about 170, 175 degrees Fahrenheit. If you bring it up too high, over 200 degrees, you start uh, really cooking the pepper, the oil evaporates and the flavor just isn't as good. We're going to do the same thing with the orange cayennes. You could use red cayennes. Just pull them off the plant, leave the stem on, and you want these to get a nice deep orange color. And here's an example of one that's being left on longer. See how it starts to shrivel up? That's perfectly fine for drying. You can let them sort of start to dry on the plant. Today's October 4th. I'm going to harvest all of these and we'll get into the oven. Not all of us, but just the peppers. So I have three kinds of peppers, the Facing Heaven Szechuan peppers. These are actually large red cayennes. I saw them to the side, so I grabbed those. And then the orange cayenne peppers. You want to put them on a cookie sheet, line it with foil. That helps clean up, uh, go a lot smoother. I'll show you that at the end of the video. And don't stack the peppers on top of each other. Make sure that there's space. And notice that I cut the stems off. That's to keep everything sealed. If you pull them off, sometimes the green pops off and then the oils Essential oils are going to evaporate out as you're drying them in the oven. So I was telling you, sometimes you can leave them on the plant and you can see how these are kind of thin and dried out. That's perfectly fine. You can start drying them that way and then you bring them inside and it won't take as long to dry in the oven. You just want to make sure that the stems stay green and you pick them when the stems are green. If you let them turn brown, the pepper starts to spoil and it's just not as good. And there's discoloration on here that might be hard to see. But don't let the stems turn brown. You can see it more here on the orange one. As that stem turned brown, the orange pepper turned brown. So don't do that. But definitely, you can leave them on the plant and let them start drying a little bit on there. And I happen to think that they taste better. So I'm going to come over here to the oven. The oven, I have two levels here. It's going to be set to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes your oven may run hot or you only get it at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If that's so, just crack your oven just a little bit like that. And this way you let some of the heat out. You want to do this slow and low and it will take a couple of hours. Do not put any oil on here or anything like that. You're just drying the peppers as is and it will take a couple of hours. I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. So this is about three hours later and I guess realistically depending on where you live it's going to take anywhere from three to six maybe eight hours and the whole thing you notice I open this up with my hand if you can't use your hand to open this up it's probably too hot you want to stay at 175 degrees keep it shut except for maybe every hour hour and a half and just move them around and they're starting to dry out you don't want these to be so hot that you're evaporating the oil, you're crisping these up, and you're basically cooking them. You want it to be low, 175 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're just evaporating the water out. You know, the smaller peppers dry much more quickly. These were started later. This is probably two hours in, and they get soft. The red peppers, so they're gonna take longer. And you can see the cayenne, the orange cayennes are starting to dry up. But Again, slow and low, and the whole goal is just to pull the water out, not evaporate out the oils or heat the oils up so much that they crisp up and basically ruin your dry pepper flakes. So the Facing Heavens took about five hours to six hours to dry, and this is what they look like. Listen, if you listen, let's see. You can hear the seeds moving around in there, nice and crunchy. You don't want them crisp. You don't want them to be so hot that the oil actually makes these crisp, just totally dried out. And what you would do 
to use them is you just break the tip off, discard that, and you would crush this up right over your pasta or however you want to use it. Now one tip is when they're dried in the oven, you bring them out, get them into a Ziploc bag or a mason jar quickly. If you let these sit, you know, for six hours, eight hours, especially even if you go overnight, if there's any humidity, these are going to soften up. You want them to stay nice and crisp so that you can just break them up over your pasta. And the best way to do that is to get them right into a Ziploc bag. On the uh, lower oven, lower level, these are still drying. They're going to take a little bit longer. And you can see the orange and cayenne. Here's a facing heaven. So when you squeeze this, it's not basically crumbling. That's when you, that's how you know it's not ready. So I do like to store them whole, but if you wanted to crush these up and you didn't want to get it all over your hands, the easiest way to do it is just break the stems off, put them into the Ziploc bag, press out most of the air, and then when they're crunchy, you can just crunch them up right in the bag. Now you want to make sure you transfer this after you do that into another Ziploc bag because you probably got a couple of holes in here and again if there's any way for moist air to get into here this is all going to get softened up so just transfer this into another Ziploc bag but now you got crushed red pepper. Anyway somewhere between three and eight hours at 175 degrees and you'll be able to dry out your peppers. Hope you enjoyed the video please check out my YouTube channel and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.